welcome to terminal uh, today i'll be discussing about the initialization vector uh, also known as the iv vector what it is and how hackers exploit it to begin off with uh, let me tell you the definition of an initialization vector an initialization vector is an arbitrary number that can be used along with a secret key for data encryption so this number is employed only one time in any session so this means that this vector is just a number which is added to a secret key just to encrypt it and this key doesn't this iv key doesn't repeat itself in a, in, in a session it only it's generated only once in a session the iv vector is a 24 bit key which means the size of this number is 24 bit which is then added along with the wep key which is a 40 bit key so making the sum to be a 64 bit key. Uh, next, there are advantages and disadvantages. One advantage is that IV vector are usually added to make it difficult for the ha in an, when you add an initialization vector to that to a text, uh, this vector is only generated. As I told you before, this uh, vector is only generated only once, so there will be no sequence therefore making it difficult for the hackers to launch a dictionary attack the disadvantage is if a hacker comes gets to know about the iv key he can retrace and decrypt the key when he is able to do this he could also gain access to the data okay uh, so let's see how a data is encrypted using this method in a wep interface on the screen is a wep interface how the encryption works inside a wep protocol so WEP stands for Wired Equivalent Privacy. Wired Equivalent Privacy. So this thing can be flowchart can be classified into two uh, two types, uh, two parts. One is A, another is B. One is the text part, and another is the key part. So what happens is first the user sends a plain text, which is then added with the CRC. What is a CRC? CRC is nothing but it is a cyclic uh, redundancy check. Uh, this is a uh, form of an error detection method used to check whether the input data and the receiver received data are same. So this plain text gets clubbed with CRC and it's then Zord. Which uh, this Zord and CRC, I'll explain it in the next video. Next, coming to the second half is the key part. IV is a 24-bit key, WEP is a 40-bit key, the entire becomes a 64-bit key, which is then sent to the RC4. Okay, what is this RC4? RC4 is nothing but an algorithm which is used for encryption. RC4 stands for Reverse Chipper 4. The version is 4 and is also called as a Stream Chipper. So what this RC4 does is, it encrypts the key and gives you a key stream. Uh, RC4's encryption is classified into two types, uh, KSA and also known as PRGA, which I'll be explaining in another upcoming video. So this key stream, key stream is again Zord. Then uh, along with the uh, plain text plus the CRC and the key stream, uh, you get the ciphertext. This ciphertext is then added with the IV key to make it IV plus the ciphertext, which is going to be the encrypted key. So this is how uh, WP interface works. So what makes this interface vulnerable? And how would a hacker find the IV key? That's the question here. See, as you can see here, the entire part A and part B is going through a huge process. But the last step is, as you can see, the IV key is directly added, is directly added to the ciphertext. So there is no, there is no medium of firewall in between this step. Therefore, it would be easy for a hacker to hack into this part, this area, and find the IV key. So, as I told you before, this RC4 is both used for decrypting as well as encrypting data. So, when you can find the IV key, it'll be uh, you can use this IV key to and the RC4 to find and decrypt the uh, decrypt the key. So, this is the working of a WP, and um, this. This also uh, comes to uh, conclude the video saying that uh, uh, saying uh, talking about the vul uh, vulnerability in this network. So in the next video, I'll be talking about the RC4 and the CRC and with some algorithms and other details. So until then, this is terminal shutting down.